my creative my creativity will outlast me and it is so it is much bigger than I am mm -hmm. you see because most of the I, I played bass for Dennis Brown. Let's talk about bass lines now. Mm -hmm. I played, I am on that No Man Is An Island album. Every song on that. Every song. Uh, Leroy Sibyl's bass line. That's an album that you put on, you don't take off, you know? From beginning every to song, end was every song. Classical. You know, every, yeah, man. The John Holt, Rob and Cheat You album. That's one of the biggest studio one album mm -hmm. for John Holt. They will rob and cheat you, you know? Uh, every Alton Ellis, can I change my mind? Prop it up to them. The whole, I'm play of the, all of them thing there, you know? Oris and the most of Oris and this, 90% of Oris and the song, even when I sing with Mr. Bass, yeah, me, I play the bass. Uh, and listen, I'm, you, you, you skipped the skip question. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it back, ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get the bass, but you yeah, give me the bass lines saying? that you played out, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And these bass lines, no. Oh. Bass line like um what I played for um, um Wailing Souls. Right? Yeah. You know? And all of these bass lines for over forty years I've created um I've I've made um Jamaicans, mm -hmm. singers and players. And them you you grow up and you know the music. You know you hear people all the talk about studio one music, studio one bass line. Mm -hmm. And Lee Russell was my talk about and no one didn't know. Because that was not advertised. That was like a hush hush. You you, you work in, in the back in the factory with just push this out and what you guys hear is what you hear. You don't yes. know how it's baked, how it's created, not or the, how it came around. Who did what I who yeah. did, you know what I'm saying? You know? Hey, when I did um that song for for um Wailing Souls. Mm -hmm. Even with, from that time, over 40 years ago, right? And come down to uh, bury someone, take it up and say, pull up the vibes that you're playing. Leroy bass line. Yo. Yeah, man. Yeah, my man. We, 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 my, my, Royce Shirley, I played a bass line for Royce Shirley, mm -hmm. right? Called Freedom Blues. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My youth hear it and say, we are living in a serious time. Admiral Tibbet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, many, 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 many. But look how, okay, like even let's take for for example the Admiral Tibbet. That song came out probably, you created that bass line probably in the 60s, 70s? Yes. And that song came out in the 80s. So we're talking almost 20 years. And during that time, mm -hmm. all, all of the singers that are on Studio and bass lines, most of them are my bass lines. All the singers and DJs. But it's like it, it it still going You know, right let now. them come to me mm -hmm. and say, Leroy, you know, say, oh, I forget your, 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 your preps, you know, because, oh, your, 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 cause, oh are you, are you, make me a career, you know? Ja, Ja, um, what's the name, Ja? What's the name, Ja, something on it? He, he's one of them. Who, yeah, he said, oh, you make my career. My career started on your, your 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 music, but that's the thing. People like Studio One is a distinctive. So even though sometimes people mix up Studio One, Treasure Island Which stuff like, yeah. but Two Studio One though. has a very. If you know music, yeah. it has a very distinctive this sound. Thing, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, people and who know the sound know the difference. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Casual listeners might mix it up, Treasure Island, yeah, 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 but yeah. real music people know yes. that there's a no, distinctive big, big difference. Song. Yeah, man. Another and bass line. difference in the sound, too. But that's what it came down to? What's difference. the sound? Yes, yeah. different. Another big bass line that you worked on that went on for years and even created another big impact was um, Queen of the... Queen of the Minstrel. Yes. Yeah. What's that girl called? Jasmine the Sullivan. Sullivan. Can you imagine? Can you <laughs> Okay. Did you know about that song before that song came around, or you just heard it one day? I just heard it one day. So, okay, so you weren't involved in the business of the business no. for that song. Yeah. I lost out on that business too. People, you know who got paid for that? A guy who copied my bass line and played it over. That's who they paid. This business boss. <laughs> and that was a big, massive song. You, know? you, you can't imagine? So when, when they say you're the king of bass line when it comes to reggae, I really yes. believe this because... 
again, your stuff went from, you'd hear it in the 60s, you'd hear 70s, you'd hear 80s, you'd hear it 90s again, and 2000s, still, right now. Right up to today. Because um, last year, mm-hmm. late last year, I'm hearing no kids. There's a young girl, I forgot her name, you know, who oh, she's singing roots, roots, singing roots, and she's on our studio on this line, one of my bass line. Creepy. And it'll never end. That, that, that um, bass line that um, Freddie and um, um, this is what, um, Morgan Heritage and mm-hmm. all those guys are, are on. Leave us a little bit. This same bass line that I, I, I mentioned earlier, too, you know, um, what kind of world are we living in? Yes. Crazy. From that time. That is crazy. Yeah, man. Listen, I that song that, that, that he did, Can I Tell You How I Feel? Yes. You know, my loving is real. That's a big all song to him. And all but of, all of these what? music are influenced from my bass lines. Not the, the rhythm, mm-hmm. bass line. Reggae is, reggae is drum and bass. Yes. You understand? Yes. Drum and bass. bass. All of these music from that time were recognized by the bass line. People talk about bass line. They don't mm-hmm. talk about the rhythm or the guitar. Bass the, line. The bass line. Yeah. When you're in a dance, a lot of times it punch out the bass you're line. In the the sound of, in. You're in the presence of the king of the reggae bass lines. And I'm proud to say this. Yeah. These, this hand right yes, here. Sir. This hand. Yes, sir. Is the one that played all. And this big finger. Yeah. 